What's up guys, Marvin here. Uh, welcome to my vlog. Uh, I've been wanting to get into drifting for a while. Uh, finally picked up a car and signed up for my first event, so I figured I'd just kind of document the process of kind of getting prepped for that. So, uh, hope you enjoy. So this is the car. It's an 06 350Z. Um, I really did buy it from another driver, so it is pretty much set up for drifting. I just wanted to go through it. Um, and check everything so you know try to make sure I don't have any issues when I bring it out um, I did start pulling out a lot of the plastic and carpeting from the back uh, the trunk area um, just to give myself some extra space because I would um, you know be driving this car to and from the track um, don't have a trailer to bring it so I'm trying to give myself as much room as I can to, to bring everything that I need to uh, but first thing I'm going to do is start with the rear um, just kind of checking the rear suspension components um, and probably adjusting the e-brake while I'm out there. So I got the car jacked up, tires off, uh, wheel spacers off. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just kind of check the tightness on all the suspension components, the, I guess the toe arms and kind of the strut mounts, top and bottom, um, all that. Um, then I'm going to adjust the parking brake on this side. Alright, so on this car anyway, um, I do have aftermarket components on it. But um, the sizes that I need right now, um, this bottom lower strut, uh, this side is a 17, nut on the other side is a 19. Um, everything else, like you can see right here, these down here and on the inside, uh, same thing for these. All of those are 17s. Um, and then the top strut connectors, those two nuts right there, those are 14s. All right, so now we're adjusting the parking brake. Uh, to do that, you need to get your wheels off. Um, if you look at your brake hub, there's this hole right here. There's usually a little rubber cover on it. That's what you need. Uh, you need to take that out to access the parking brake adjustment. Um, it's usually just a little bit off your 12 o'clock position. I'm on the driver's side, so you can see it's a little bit to the left of that. Uh, I think on the passenger side, it's a little bit to the right of the 12 o'clock. But you take that cover off, if you look inside, I don't think you'll be able to see it here, but um, there's a little star nut in there. And what you need to do is take a flathead screwdriver, come up on it, and adjust it down. So you want to hit that star nut and turn it down to tighten up the uh, parking brake. Um, if you do have an open diff, it should be pretty simple. Just adjust it till you have uh, a little bit of drag, so give it a couple of clicks down. Turn your uh, turn your axle, and you should be able to hear the parking brake drag just a little bit. Um, I have a welded differential, so it's a little bit harder um, because it's obviously turning both sides at the same time. So what I did was pulled my parking brake up a couple of clicks until I got a little bit of drag on one side. That way, I could tell which side you know was tighter than the other. Um, and then I could obviously tighten up the looser side to get them both a little bit both even and then adjust from there That's gonna be it for today guys. Thanks for watching um, What I found was really no issues. Um, I think I got a little bit more tightness out of the top strut or Yeah, the top strut mount on the driver's side other than that everything else was tight my main thing was getting the parking brake tightened up because it felt a little loose to me i think i was probably maxing out about eight or nine clicks i got that down to six uh seven if you really pulled on it but i think that's a good um you know amount of uh i guess tightness for it so i'm just gonna put everything back together uh, if you have any tips for me this is my first time doing it the z is still a fairly new car to me or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching again, and we'll see you next time.